Can you guys put a one in the chat if you can hear me? Can you guys put a one in okay. the chat if you can hear? Okay. So I just ended my live and uh, got a text from a friend of mine who is a private investigator. Y'all have heard me talk about him. His name is Jason Hunt. Um, and he told me not to report it, but that they had found the remains of a child. And then it came out in a breaking news alert that outside of Rush Springs in rural Grady County, the remains of a child have been found by the OSBI. Um, the medical examiner, of course, has to confirm the identity, but who else is it going to be, right? Um, we were literally just talking that... They were searching in the Rush Springs area for little Athena. Um, let me see what they're saying here. It says, authorities said in a news release that they cannot confirm that the remains are those of Athena Brownfield, the four-year-old Cyril girl who was reported missing a week ago. Their remains will be taken to the medical examiner's office in Oklahoma City for positive identification. That's about it. Um, but I wanted to hop on here and let you know. Uh, just going to kind of monitor and see if anybody comes out and does like a press conference. Sorry, I had to take something for my head. Um, but it appears that she has been found. Like I said, they, uh, I had, I had literally, literally, y'all, and I put some butterflies in the chat for Athena, um, I had literally just shut down and went to kind of rest and relax for a little bit, and I got a text from my friend, a private investigator, and he's like, they may have found her or don't report this yet. I'm like, okay, just update me. And it wasn't too long after that that I got two different breaking news alerts from two different news stations. And then he sent back that it was in Grady County outside of Rush Springs that they had found a child's remains. And for it to be anybody but Athena would be mind-blowing at this point but this poor baby this poor poor baby let me see if there's anything like if anybody's live like on their social media you know the news stations It's just what I read. You know, Biggie's actually live right now. It doesn't look like. Let's see. Um, OSBI says this is a active homicide investigation. Until the remains are positively identified, the OSBI will not be commenting further. So I'm assuming they won't do a press conference until the identification is official. But... With it being in Rush Springs and that being where Alicia said Ivan buried her, I can only assume that that is going to be Athena. Let's see. 
yeah, I'm I'm devastated as well. Yeah, she's she's definitely in a better place now with all the butterflies and yeah. So I was before I got the notice, I had emailed Okie Crime News, and I'm trying to think, maybe you guys can help me. I'm trying to think, I'd really like to do something for little Adina. I don't know what, but I would like to do something special for Adina. And when these monsters have their court appearances, I would really like to go. Like I said, it's about two hours, but it would be worth it just to be there to stand up for justice for Athena. Just to kind of be there in spirit for her, if that makes sense. But like I said, they had, they had gone back and searched and I assume they didn't find her then. And I figured after that came out today, they would probably be back out there. And it said it was outside of Rush Springs in Grady County. And where they were, where they were looking looked pretty rural. So maybe they narrowed down that spot. Um. Yeah, I mean, she, Divine Justice said she had no family other than her sister, and it feels that way, right? I mean, everyone that, that should have been looking out for, for these girls kind of failed them, it seems. I mean, like I said, I tried to, I tried to give the bio parents the benefit of the doubt. I don't know what the situation is with the dad. I know he either is or was a Marine. Um, from what I can tell, he's out of state. The bio mom <clears throat> remarried in October, and I know she had substance abuse problems, and I was like, well, you know, she at least tried to leave them with someone safe that was capable of caring for them, whatever, but... I just, you know... I feel like they were let down by a lot of people. I don't know the family. I don't know how much they knew of the situation. You know, um, Wes, the bio dad's mom, said that they haven't been in contact with the girls in like a year and a half. And that the, there was like this long, complicated backstory. There's Steve. Um... So, like I said, I don't really know, but I I wish somebody could have intervened. Um, you know, I said it in one of my previous videos about this, that, you know, even, even they could have just, you know, left them with a neighbor or take them to the police station or the firehouse or a hospital or somewhere and drop them off and just be like, I can't take these kids anymore. And I mean, they could have at least done that with Adina, but for whatever reason, Ivan lost it and beat poor Athena until she was no longer with us, but then to go off and leave Adina completely alone, that's just, like, the final straw. Like, what you did wasn't bad enough, and then you're gonna leave her sister there completely alone to fend for herself? <laughs> yeah, Steve's not happy. Steve is not happy. He doesn't like this case either. Steve is the boss. I feel like Steve is my boss, you know? He doesn't like what's on TV. I have to change the channel for him. Yeah, Linda, Steve is pissed. He's had enough. 
He has had enough of this ish. He's tired of it. Steve, <laughs> Steve's ready for some good news for a change. I'm ready for some good news for a change. I know we talk about true crime, but damn, I'm like, I want to do a, a story about, you know, like those dumb criminals that you see, like, you know, like the stupid crimes and stuff like that. Something that is a little lighter than what we've been dealing with lately. But Anna Walsh's husband is charged with her murder now so we'll have to talk about that <laughs> yeah steve is like i'm the center of attention he's probably yelling because i'm not in there right now like nobody's in there my daughter's in here with me and the dogs are in here with me and he's probably like somebody come pay attention to me yeah beyond closed doors she that, she says that woman has everything to do with it. I mean, like I said, we went over her pictures in the last live. And I mean, that's not a woman that is like devastated at the loss of this child. It's not, it's not a person that cares about anything but herself. It's just not. It's just not. No, we can't ever give up, that's for sure. But, God, I wish people would quit hurting these precious babies. Look at that sweet face. Like, how? How could you do something like that? Um, let's see... I can't believe none of the news is live. Maybe, let's see, we've got 4 o'clock news is getting ready to start. I would think when they were searching in the water, they had people that were out there, you know, while they were searching. I would think somebody would be out there. Like, I don't know how long of a sentence that she could possibly get, but whatever it is, if it's not life or death, it's not long enough. Not long enough. It's cases like this that make me really, really proud that I live in a death penalty state. I know a lot of people don't believe in the death penalty, but when you do something like this, Even the dogs are angry. Can you hear them growling? Dude. Yeah, like nobody's live about it. All right, well, I guess I'll keep this one short. It's only 15 minutes, but there's not really anything else to add. I just wanted you to know that they did find remains, um, the child's remains, outside of Rush Springs, Oklahoma, in Grady County. And it's very likely this sweet girl right here, Athena. And the medical examiner will have to confirm. And I'm sure after that, there will be a press conference, if that's what you want to call them. It seems like here in Oklahoma, they talk to you for about five minutes and then that's it. They're done. They're out. So if and when that happens, we will, we will have it here on my channel, of course. And anything I can find out, I will be watching all the news tonight and I will get on here in the morning and let you know all of the latest and greatest. Um, thank you, Divine Justice. Thank you. I appreciate that you guys appreciate it. <laughs> it's been a heck of a day. It's been a heck of a day. 
Um, and it's all been devoted to this little girl and well worth it. Well worth it. She deserves the attention. So, like I said, towards the end of the last one, let's um, just keep her sister Adina in our prayers. Um, thank God for the investigators and the searchers that found this precious little one that, um, yes, just a mama. Um, they, the medical examiner has to confirm, but a child's remains were found in Grady County, just outside of Rush Springs, Oklahoma, where Alicia said Ivan had buried Athena. And it's presumed to be Athena's body that they found, but the OSBI is not going to comment until after the medical examiner makes an official identification. Like I said, I, uh, <laughs> Steve is so angry. I had just gotten off the live and when I sat down, I had a text from my friend, a private investigator saying that they may have found her and for me not to report it yet because it wasn't out. And I said, well, just let me know. And he said, you know, they found remains, but the medical examiner has to confirm. And then right after that, I started getting breaking news alerts. And it was the same information I had got from my, my friend, the private investigator. And so we are waiting now for confirmation. But as I said earlier, I would be completely blown away if it were anybody but Athena, especially in that area. I don't know specifically where, but like I said, they had gone out there and searched that area before and did not find anything. And apparently they went back today and they did. And I'm glad they did because we've got rain coming in tonight and it's going to rain until like tomorrow afternoon and that probably would have hindered their efforts a little bit so they have found her and the medical examiner has the body now and I would expect tomorrow or the next day that we will have confirmation that it is in fact her maybe even tonight I don't know and like I said I will watch the news and let you know when they let us know something like I said I'm surprised that there isn't anybody going live with it right now news station wise i'm sure somebody was probably out there when they were searching usually one of the news helicopters or somebody is overhead when they're searching and if i can get any footage i will but like i said once again i got a text right after I ended my life from my friend, a private investigator telling me that remains had been found and waiting for medical examiner confirmation. He told me not to report it. And then I started getting breaking news alerts from the news stations and figured, well, if they're reporting it, so can I. So here I am. I just wanted to share that with you guys tonight. Um, yeah. So... Also, as I said earlier, I would really like to do something for her sister, Adina. I don't know what, I don't know how I'm trying to come up with something, but if there's any kind of a memorial service or anything for the sweet baby, I would like to send flowers or make a donation, just something to feel like we're helping, right? Um, but we'll figure it out. We will figure it out in the days ahead, but she deserves it. So, yeah, like I said, that's, that's really, that's really it. That's really all I have. It, it just, the news just broke. And I know that those of you that have been here in these chats are as invested as I am. And I wanted you guys to know as soon as I knew that 
they have found her and in a way it gives me some peace to know that she's not out there alone in the cold anymore but all right like i said pray for her sister adina i'm sure athena is watching out for her and sending her all the butterflies that she can and pray for the searchers and the investigators for all the hard work that they did and i'm sure this took a toll on them as well um that's a good idea westphalia philosopher that that is a good idea i know there is a fund set up with a bank for adina um i will get the information and link that I will, I will link that. Um, yeah, divine justice. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering is um, the money to lay her to rest. I'm wondering like what's going, you know, who's going to, who's going to do that? Who is going to take care of that? Um, I know that the town of Cyril, it's a very small town and they've all really come together for this little girl and, I know that they will um, that they will do everything that they can to make sure that this is done right for this little girl. So um, I'll kind of dig into all that, and I, like I said, I will get the information for the bank where they are um, accepting donations, and perhaps that money could go towards a service for Athena. I don't know, but. Um, let me dig into that tonight and I will bring that all to you tomorrow with any other, um, any other information that happens to come out tonight, any footage of, of the search area, anything like that. But, um, I will, I will watch all the news tonight and like I said, I will dig into the bank that is taking donations and exactly what it is for. And then I'm sure in the days ahead, we're going to hear something about um, a memorial and like having her laid to rest properly. And I will try to find out the specifics on that. Uh, because, you know, a lot of times you'll see GoFundMes pop up <clears throat> and they're not they're not always legitimate right and i don't want to say this the wrong way and make it sound really bad but this family um if we donate money to this family i want to make sure that it's going for what we want it to go for does that make sense um i don't want the funds to be misused you know, I, uh, I, I like to, it, times are hard, right? And if I'm going to give money to something, I want to make sure it's going to the right place for the right reason. And it's used for what it's supposed to be used for, if that makes sense. And if we, if we are to do something, I want to make sure that it is all going to the proper place for the proper reason the reason that we have specified so if that uh you know if that is directly to somebody for let's say a a memorial marker or what have you um you know if there's somebody that we can directly funnel that money to like we can send a donation to this business that is making this and then we can see evidence that it was done like i can physically go see it and take a picture or something you know what i mean um i don't want any of us to be taken advantage of by people that are trying to make money off of the tragedy that has happened to this little girl and i don't want our hard-earned dollars to go into something that we have the best of intentions in our heart and then that money is used for something other than what we wanted no i i totally totally agree just a mama yeah 
<laughs> yeah, I agree. Divine justice. I, I, like I said, I, I don't want, I don't, I don't want to sound awful about this family, but I, at, at this moment, am not comfortable giving money to the family. Um, I don't know who in that family I would trust that if, if I give you this money, you're going to put it towards, you know, a, a, a very nice burial, memorial, whatever for Athena. I, I'm not at that point. Exactly, Emma. That's exactly what I'm saying. I, I want to help, but I, I want my money to go for what I want my money to go for. <laughs> I want, I want it to be all for for this little girl. I, I want it to be for celebrating her and making sure that she is is properly laid to rest and has some sort of nice memorial marker or what have you i i don't want my money to go for somebody's groceries or something worse you know i don't need anybody else going out and getting their hair done and their nails done if you know what i'm saying so Okay, y'all are wonderful. It's been about a half hour. Um, I'm going to wrap up here. Hopefully my husband will be on his way soon. That would be fantastic. And like I said, uh, unless something else happens, this will be it for the evening. And I will come back in the morning with everything, all the latest information and anything I can find out about getting funds to her i mean i'm comfortable probably with the bank but i want to dig into that and see like who's the beneficiary of the money that's being collected by the bank like i know the bank is the one that you give the funds to but who's receiving those funds you know i want to make sure everything is on the up and up before i put it out there for you so all right thank everybody for being here have a great rest of your night I love y'all so much. Give it a thumbs up, please, and help get it out there to everybody. Have a great night, and as always, I will see you all in the next one.